Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I will be creating a low poly campfire in Blender 2.92. And this will be done in 25 minutes. So let's hop into it and start. So first I deleted the default cube and replaced it with an icosphere. With the icosphere, I went and added a remesh modifier to make it look more like a rock. I then duplicated the rock and made a ring of rocks. I then went and scaled them and changed the remesh modifier to make them all look a little bit different. I then added a plane followed by a cube that's basically just scaled and rotated to be a log in the middle of the campfire. So I made a couple of these and created more of a teepee type campfire. I then wanted these logs bigger so I scaled them in object mode first, but that didn't work so I went into edit mode in all of them and scaled them along the z-axis and that ended up working. I then added a cylinder that had six vertexes along with a cone or a couple of cones stacked on top of each other to create a simple pine tree. The first one is scaled the largest, then they, I kept scaling them a little bit smaller until I reached the top of the tree. And by the time that I did this, it actually looked kind of like a pine tree. I then selected all the cones and the cylinder and hit command J for, to join them into one object. From there, I went and positioned the camera into an area that I thought looked good. I then started duplicating the low poly pine trees so that it looked more like a forest. I then made the trees have small variations by changing the scale along the z-axis while in object mode. I then wanted to add some logs around the campfires to be as chairs, so I added cylinders again with six vertexes and made three of them and scaled them a little bit and rotated them 90 degrees. And that did the trick. I then duplicated the plane and scaled it down so it was about the size of the forest. I then added geometry nodes to spread rocks around evenly on that plane, or at least randomly on that plane. It's the exact same setup I used in my light speed tutorial. I then moved on to adding simple materials to all the objects in this scene. And I used the trick by going to object and materials to copy materials to other objects, which made it a lot quicker. And because I was running out of time, I decided to go append a swimming pool, at least the grass of the swimming pool that I made while experimenting with geometry nodes. And with that, it ended up making the scene look a whole lot better when I moved the grass downward. And 
other than that, I went and added an HDRI, and with that, the scene was mostly complete, other than I didn't have the fire, so I just called this good, and then added the fire off camera. But first, before I show you it with the fire, here is the EV render at night without the fire, and another EV render during the day without, still without the fire. But now, here is the render with the fire. The EV render. So the EV render I thought was okay, but it still wasn't my exact favorite, so I rendered it in cycles, and boy did that make the difference. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!